How's it going everyone? Right here we have the NASDAQ 100 chart pulled up and as you can see it broke this downtrend line here, this black line right here, broke above that and ran all the way up to 1600, almost to the dot and then kind of rejected from there, 16009. Okay, now we alerted this in our channel on the break of this trend line and clearing this 15,565 level on an hourly close. And I expected it to run up to this 200 simple moving average on the one hour chart because we've yet to tag the underside of it. We just kind of got super oversold down 8%. Now, another thing also, this is also pretty close to the 618 retrace as well. And it's that nice, hard, psychological round number that you can expect to get tagged. Let's get rid of this here. Now, the other thing is, is we did go long, and it took a little bit of heat on it, but we went long at this red trend line right here. Let me zoom out. You can see it's been tagged multiple times in the past. Back in March, back in May, October, and then here again, and we're getting a bounce. It actually came all the way down to test my 15,170 level, and since then, we've had over an 800-point bounce. Now, I expect it to kind of cool off here. We're up quite a bit from that bottom there. We're actually up 5.65% in just three days. So congrats to anyone that followed us and, and taken NQ long there. Um, but I, I at least expect maybe a small pullback to uh, some consolidation here. Um, but I do expect continuation to the upside, possibly to this previous point of control here. There's a, a high volume node here on the volume profile up towards 16,339. Um, maybe even push to all-time highs and test this upper trend line here because we do have big tech earnings and we could definitely see an anticipatory run-up heading into that but uh, i'll keep you guys posted on that another thing i do want to point out before we get out of here is keeping an eye on the vxn which is the volatility indicator specifically for the nasdaq right now on the daily and you had two wicks here, and then we pushed up to a new high up in the 30.49 area, but it got sold off pretty quickly. And on the four-hour chart, we had this big upper wick here, and this is kind of where I knew hedges were coming off, buyers might be stepping in, and we came all the way down, filled this gap, and headed even lower. So it's possible we come down and test this support right here around the 20 to 21 level. If that fails, then it's heading all the way down to 18. But I would definitely start being cautious on longs once it tests this 21 support here. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you here on the NASDAQ update.